What's up everybody, DeepyConnect.dlifehd at DLife HD, and lately we've been thinking about the vast amount of retro games that are available to you on the App Store. So today we're going to try and narrow it down what in our opinion are the 20 best retro games available to you on the App Store, with maybe a couple more that are more modern but have retro ties. So with that being said, and without further ado, let's do this. At number 20 we have NBA Jam. I realize that this isn't the original version and that's why it's rated so low, but it's still a good game, and I couldn't go through a retro list without mentioning its modern version. The original NBA Jam launched in the arcades, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis and more in 1993, and it's core for its 2 on 2 basketball arcade game, where you can commit master dunks, catch fire, and commit super insane fouls. It's just fun all around. NBA Jam is available on the App Store for $4.99 and it's fantastic. At number 19, we have Street Fighter 4 CE. The original Street Fighter was originally released by Capcom in 1987 in the arcades. That went followed by the release of Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo. And while we realized one of his far form retro, it pays homage to the retro titles, and we believe it had to be mentioned on this list. Street Fighter 4 CE is available on the App Store for $4.99, and it comes with gamepad support. At number 18, we have Qbert. Qbert was originally released in the arcades in 1982 before any of us here at DLife HD were even born, but was also ported over to the Atari 2600 shortly thereafter. The objective of the game is to make it to the bottom of the tower blocks, changing the color of every block while avoiding objects that look to prevent you from getting to the bottom. Qbert is on the App Store for free, but you can remove the ads for 99 cents. It comes with the classic version and more modernized version, and also has gamepad compatibility. At number 17, we have Pac-Man. Pac-Man was originally released on the arcades in 1980, and then ported over to the Atari's 2600 shortly thereafter. If you don't know what Pac-Man is, you've probably been living under a rock, but let me explain it as simply as I know how. You're a circle with a mouth who goes through mazes chased by ghosts, eating little, large, and circular pellets. The larger pellets allow you to eat the ghost. Once you clear the circular pellets, then you go on to the next level. Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, and Pac-Man CE are all available on the App Store for various prices and also have gamepad support. At number 16, we have Fatal Fury Special. Fatal Fury Special is a fighting game that was originally released on the Neo Geo Home and Arcade Systems in 1993. It was praised for having a large variety of characters, moves, combos, and humorous backgrounds and the ability to jump from the foreground to the background. It looks really familiar to Street Fighter, which is why it had to be on the list. Fatal Fury Specials is available on the App Store for $3.99. At number 15, we have Grim Fandango Remastered. Grim Fandango is a PC game by LucasArts released back in 1998. If you love point and click adventure games, this is definitely an excellent option. The characters are Hispanic and based off the Mexican Day of the Dead celebration. Manny, the main protagonist, is a travel agent who works at the Department of Death. His job is to solve rigged cases that is stopping the dead from going to their proper places. This game has fantastic audio voice acting and a great story. It's available for $4.99 on the App Store. At number 14, we have Myths. Miss was originally released on the Macintosh back in 1993. This was one of the first games that helped drive the CD-ROM era. The game is a graphic adventure puzzle game, but can also be described as a point and click adventure game. The synopsis of the game is that you find a book that launches you into the island of the Mist, where you try and find other books and travel to different lands. It's got several endings to the story and it's just a classic. We haven't played the mobile version yet, but we had to add it to the list. Miss is available on the App Store for $4.99. At number 13, we have Comic Zone. Comic Zone was originally released for the Sega Genesis in 1995. We liked it because it was a hacker slash beat em up that looked like a comic book world. The plot is as follows Sketch Turner is a starving artist in New York City. One night during a thunderstorm, his comic book was struck by lightning, and the villain Mortis jumps out of the pages of the comic book. Sketch has no powers in real life, so he takes the battle to the comic book. The object of the game is to defeat all the enemies that Mortis draws up in the comic book to try to stop you. Comic Zone, while a bit corny and occasionally laggy, is a super fun game and we recommend it. Available on the App Store for free, it's also gamepad compatible. 
At number 12, we have Ghouls and Ghosts, originally released by Capcom in 1988 on the arcades, but later ported to the Omega and several other consoles. Ghouls and Ghosts is the successor of Ghosts and Goblins and is an excellent classic slide-soling platformer that you'll enjoy. The story follows three years after the events of the previous game. Monsters and demons have returned and a beam of light struck through Princess Prin Prin, taking her soul. Now it's up to you, Knight Arthur, to defeat the bad guys and restore the souls of Prin Prin and the people. Both Ghouls and Ghosts and Ghosts and Goblins are available on the App Store for $1.99 each. At number 11, we have Altered Beast. Altered Beast was originally released in the arcades in 1988 and later ported over to several other systems. But most importantly, the Sega Genesis. Altered Beast is a great beat em up set up in ancient Greece and follows a centurion who was resurrected by Zeus to rescue his daughter Athena. In order to save his daughter, Zeus transformed the centurion into Beast with the use of power ups. It's a super fun game and we recommend it. Altered Beast is available on the App Store for free and you can unlock it for $1.99. It's also gamepad compatible. At number 10 we have Grand Theft Auto 3. Originally released on the PlayStation on October 2001 by Rockstar Games. Set up in Liberty City where a bank job goes wrong. You're betrayed, taken for prisoner, escape and meet new mafia friends who have you do a variety of jobs for them. The GTA series was famously known for being a revolutionary game because of its open world environment and captivating story. The game is available in the App Store for $4.99, but there are also other GTA games available such as GTA San Andreas, GTA Vice City, GTA Liberty City Stories, and GTA Chinatown Wars. They are gamepad compatible as well. At number 9 we have Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider was originally released by Square in 1996 for Sega Saturn, PlayStation, and MS-DOS. I honestly thought that it was only released on the original PlayStation. Oh well. It's thoughts of serving as a template for many 3D adventure games to follow. Tomb Raider is one of our favorite action adventure series of all time and we think you will enjoy it too. Tomb Raider 1 and 2 are available on the App Store for 99 cents each and both are gamepad compatible. At number 8 we have Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi first came out on Dreamcast and arcades in 1999. The objective of the game is to pick up and drop as many customers as you can in an alignment of time. What made this game so much fun that you were given a reasonably large city to ride around in and you could utterly destroy environments. Had really nice graphics and music in the game which was just awesome. Available on the App Store for free but you can remove the ads for $1.99. It's also gamepad compatible. At number 7 we have Bully. Bully was originally released on the PlayStation 2 in 2006. It was yet another game by Rockstar Games. This game starts out with a 50 year old Jimmy Hopkins, who is having problems with his parents and they send him off to a terrible corrupt boarding school, where he has to work his way up a hierarchy system in order to survive his time at school. It's honestly a great story and you'll have tons of fun completing the missions and feeling like you're back in school. Some may like that more than others. Bully Anniversary Edition is available on the App Store for $6.99 and is gamepad compatible. At number 6 we have Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage was originally released on the Sega Genesis and Master System in 1993. I honestly think this was one of the best beat em ups of all time because you were able to pick up stuff on the street and use them. Anything from crowbars to bare bottles and knives were fair game. The plot is as following. A once peaceful city has been taken over by a crime syndicate including factions of the police. Adam Axel and Blaze are ex-officers who have quit the force to fight the bad guys out in the streets and restore order. Though this version has occasional lag, it's still very playable and enjoyable. It's available for free via the Sega Forever program but you can unlock this game for $1.99. It's also gamepad compatible. At number 5 we have Secret of Mana, a fantastic RPG by Square, originally released on the Super Nintendo in 1993. What made this game so good was rather than being turn based, it was in real time and it changed the RPGs forever. Set in a fantasy universe, the game follows three heroes as they attempt to prevent an empire from conquering the world with the power of an ancient flying fortress. Secret of Mana and its successor Adventures of Mana are available on the App Store for $7.99 and $13.99 respectively. 
both games are GamePod compatible. At number 4 we have Mega Man X. Mega Man X was originally released on Super Nintendo in 1993. Aside from being an excellent classic action platformer, it was also the very first Mega Man in the 16-bit generation. Mega Man X reinvented Mega Man through a more mature storyline while still maintaining the basic concepts of the previous games. The plot of the game is to follow Mega Man X, an android member of the military force called the Maverick Hunters. With the help of his partner Zero, X must throw up the plans of Sigma, a powerful Maverick leader, wishing to bring the extinction of humanity. Mega Man 1 through 6 and X are available on the App Store for download at various prices. At number 3 we have Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy was originally released in 1987 on the Nintendo by Square. Also known as Squaresoft and now known as Square Enix. The story follows four characters called the Light Warriors. Together they defeat evil forces, restore the light orbs and save their world. Final Fantasy is known to be a really great RPG and a part of a series of 14 games. We highly recommend that anyone plays through them. Final Fantasy 1 through 7, 9, Tactics, and 14 Pocket Edition are available on the App Store for various prices. Final Fantasy 4 through 7 and 9 are GamePod compatible. At number 2, we have Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog is one of the best platformers of all time. Originally released on the Sega Genesis and Master System in 1991, at the time when Mario was dominating the industry. Sonic was there with his cool looks and super fast speed to try and lure gamers away from Nintendo. The game features a hedgehog named Sonic, who is on a quest to defeat Dr. Robotnik, a scientist who has imprisoned animals and robots. Sonic the Hedgehog is an awesome game and I am so proud I have it on mobile. Not only does this game on mobile but Sonic 2, Sonic CD and Sonic 4 episodes 1, 2 and 3 are also available. Check them out on the App Store. Sonic 1, 2 and Sonic CD are GamePad compatible. At number 1 we have Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is a role playing game originally released on the Super Nintendo by Square in 1995 but then re-released on PlayStation in 1999. Chrono Trigger is known as one of the best RPGs of all time because of the multiple endings, plot related side quests, character development, unique battle system and detailed graphics. The game story follows a group of adventurers who travel through time to prevent a global catastrophe. Chrono Trigger is available on the App Store for $9.99 and even though the graphics are a little soft, it's still Chrono Trigger in a wonderful and original form. It's also GamePod compatible. Alright everybody, thanks for joining me. Let me know by commenting below if you agree with me or my opinions and what games you would like to put on the list. If you like this video, remember to smash that like button because it really helps us out a lot. We are also adding Amazon affiliate links in the description below for things like Steam, Apple and Google Play Store gift cards just in case you plan on buying this game or buying games and you need a gift card. For every purchase you make, we get a little bit of return and that helps the channel out a lot. If you want more content like this, remember to subscribe because we're planning on releasing mobile content more regularly. Also remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for daily mobile game updates. Peace!